people have lost their lives. Thousands more are fighting for their lives in hospitals. We learned today all Pennsylvania schools will be closed for the rest of the school year. The Pennsylvania Secretary of Education signed the order that now means student and teachers, students and teachers will be relying on remote learning to finish the curriculum. On March 11, 2020, the coronavirus was declared a pandemic. Students were removed from on-campus housing, frat row included. However, though, Pi Lambda Phi, due to not being on Drexel's campus, remained open. Students will spend the rest of the school year learning remotely. Philadelphia school officials say they had already started to plan ahead in anticipation of this announcement. A few BU students spending spring break on campus headed home tonight as the school opted for online classes that will keep the dorms empty through at least mid-April. An online recruitment with no spring rush and online courses proved to be quite difficult to handle at first. I interviewed fraternity brother Joe Galante and Pi Lambda Phi alumni Matteo Medijasek on their experiences with online recruitment and online courses respectively. So we are an anti-hazing fraternity um, and we recruit based off of values um, that we meet through people. Um, some of the methods that we take to recruit include uh, well, things, um, a lot of in-person events obviously, um, things such as uh, information tables. Um, with our information tables, we would be posted up over at the Dragon or um, on Lancaster Walk, areas like that, where we'd be able to meet people in person. Other methods that we've taken have been social media, reaching out to people via uh, Facebook, via Instagram, via Snapchat, um, you know, things like that. A lot of uh, referrals from friends of ours on campus, uh, as well as hosting our rush events, um, especially in person. Uh, it's been definitely a huge help. We posted things like our EOP movie events in which we show a movie um, focusing on a sensitive societal topic and invite the community out to that. After you know we watch the movie, we have a discussion based on the prejudice or the um, lack thereof that is faced in the movie via the protagonist. And then we discuss how we notice it in media as well as how we notice it in person. Um, those are just a few of the ways that we recruit in person. Yeah, it was pretty insane. So I remember in the first days of the coronavirus pandemic, uh, so I'm an engineering student. So um, with senior design or whatever, everyone was freaking out about that because no one knew how we were going to finish our deliverables and things like that. And of course, you know, as the pandemic progressed and people realized that this was going to be a bigger thing, uh, that, uh, you know, expectations were changed, but there was definitely a lot of chaos and confusion to begin with. Um, I wasn't sure how any of the clubs that I had helped develop, including uh, PyLam, were going to fare, uh, you know, with all these new additions, all these new restrictions that were going to be taking place. So the biggest challenge that we faced um, was outreach uh, regarding online recruitment. Um, a lot of in-person things were able to, you know, walk around campus, wear our letters, people are able to see who we are, host events with, you know, our flags, banners. Um, t-shirts, hats, things like that, and people are able to physically see, um, you know, oh, hey, I see a pilot, I see somebody involved in pilot to fly. Um, versus, you know, not having that in-person aspect, it was very hard to find ways to outreach to the community. Um, yeah. Yeah, so to be honest, I was definitely very unmotivated <laughs> during my last quarter, just because I, I started Drexel in September of 2015. So, I felt like five years of work had all culminated just for me to be behind Zoom classes and for, you know, my senior design project to kind of uh, have less of like a physical prototype. And I definitely wasn't the only engineering student who felt that way. And I'm sure there were a lot of other seniors. In fact, I know there were a lot of seniors who were kind of disappointed that their last projects and last quarter at Drexel uh, weren't going to end up how they were supposed to be. Eventually, we all got the hang of being entirely online. So I would say some of the perks to online recruitment are um, definitely accessibility for people. Uh, you know, some people are unable to make events if they're physically, let's say they're a commuter and they're unable to make all of our rush events, considering our, our uh, regarding our brothers being able to show up physically. Um, we don't have to worry about people showing up late. We don't have to worry about people showing up, you know, not on time. Oh, I have another commitment with another club. Um, let's say somebody's able to, you know, pop on a Zoom meeting um, at 7 p.m. They don't have to leave their house at 6.30 to go walk half an hour to make it to campus. Um, they could just, you know, log onto their computer and be there. Um, and with that being said, we've had some of the best turnout with our brothers recently um, regarding our most previous rush session. You know, as the quarter went on, I kind of got adjusted to the new normal. 
Um, I had even made my schedule so that, you know, I, I wouldn't have any classes on Friday and my classes on Monday started at night. So I was like, oh, sweet, I'm going to have like a dope, like four day weekend or whatever. Right. And then the pandemic hit and I was like, oh, man, that really sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but we, um, you know, we powered through it, me and my friends uh, and definitely some of my brothers as well that I graduated with. And we did get a little, you know, Zoom ceremony or whatever um, for graduation. Like they sent us videos and things like that. And it basically felt like, you know, this is it. You know, it is what it is. Uh, when I submitted my last assignment, I think it was the Tuesday of finals week or something like that, um, where I submitted my last like paper ever. I was like, that's it. Drexel's done. I'm finished, you know, five years. And here it is. It, it definitely felt a little anticlimactic after, you know, all the work that was put in. But, you know, uh, I learned a valuable lesson, which is, you know, sometimes things are out of your control. Fall recruitment was a success with us prevailing against the odds COVID put in front of us. With the upcoming winter term being entirely online, Pi Lambda Phi is more than prepared to make this online recruitment even better than the last one.